the Daily Drama Podcast with Stephen Bradford, presented by Daily Drama, the one-stop shop for your soap viewing needs. We all have needs. And if you're <laughs> if you're a soap viewer, you probably want to hear those, you probably need those recaps and the spoilers and, and, and everything. The, and the insight and the it, story. Okay, calm down, dude. You're doing something weird over there. I can't see your hands. Listen, <laughs> dailydrama.com is a great place for us. They have welcomed us. We have a home for our podcast, and we're doing cool stuff here. So thank you guys for joining us. And you know what? It couldn't have come at a better time. I mean. Because my first day on set back at General Hospital was yesterday. Amazing. Oh, was it? Monday. I don't know. What it was it. Monday. They'll hear this okay, on Wednesday Monday. probably. But it was this week. It is. It has happened. It, it has is, happened. Yes. Jason has returned in some way. We don't know how that's going to happen, but Jason's in the building. Uh, Jason is in the building and all right. So let me just take you through the day. Can I, I would love, I want to eat. So we haven't talked, we haven't talked since Monday. We haven't talked at all. We haven't, we haven't talked, talked at all. all. So this is, this is news days, to yeah. me. Yeah, man. Listen, it's uh there's always a excitement and yeah. some trepidation of going back. Of course. Right. Yeah. With, with everything that's transpired in the last couple of years, um, you know, you're like, oh, is it the right thing, the wrong thing? What's going on? You know, and and I felt so good going back. That's a good sign. Right, right. So so the first thing I, I did was I go, oh, because I'm a routine person. How early right? in the morning? What, what was your call? Yeah, so my call was 645. Okay, great. And I got there at 5. Did you find the gym? Did you find the key? Am. Yes, yes. Do you still so, have a key? So, no, it's a, it's a combo. So okay. here's so here's what happens, right? Uh, and and of course the 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 weather here is out of control, the, yeah. the rain, yeah. right? So I knew that was going to be an issue. I knew that I was going back, and I wasn't going to change my routine from when I left. Love that, right? So I got there. I got there at five o'clock. It was great. Security welcomed me. Very nice. The gym. They're like, we'll open the gym for you. Thank you. Get in the gym. It was awesome, man. I felt, I felt, I felt great. Um, and you know, I had a thought today or maybe yesterday on the way home, my drive was, was that I, I, I put so much work into myself <clears throat> over the last couple of years that it was a, just a completely different person walking in the building. Well, that's cool. Right. So, yeah. so the cool thing about that, and we'll get back to the, to the, to the day. Yeah. But the cool thing about it was for me was, you know, putting, and I'm not saying this in an egotistical way. I'm not saying it. I'll in be the judge of that. that. Okay. But I'm not saying it in the way that, Oh, I'm putting all this work. Sure. I, I, I put work into myself daily because I want to become the best possible version of myself that I can. Sure. Right. And, and be the most loving, compassionate person that I can be. And, so by doing that over time, you can transform your life and yourself, right? With these daily disciplines, with work, working out and spiritually and all these things, I just felt like I was a completely different person walking in to the building that I have such a history in. Well, and that's interesting because then it becomes a new beginning versus a... No, it, it, yes, you're, you're absolutely right. So here's what it does is your lens is completely different. You walk in and all I saw were the positives. Yeah. Right. And this is a life lesson, by the way. Sure. Right. Like all I saw, look, because anywhere you're at for 25 plus years, there's always going to be positives and negatives. I would say so. There's going to be, there's going to be events. There's going to be circumstances. There's going to be people. There's going to be life. Right. Right. So I was able to walk in and have a perspective of seeing the positive, but then going throughout the day and it was all positive. Amazing. So, yeah. So it was really great. It was really refreshing for me and having that kind of re revelation on the way home going, you know what? I was just a completely different person walking in there. So all that other stuff doesn't even matter. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's dude. just, um, so anyway, so, so the workout was great. Then I had to try in a bunch of clothes because oh, I, couldn't go in, right. I couldn't go in the week before. So we had a bunch of, you know, a bunch of different stuff to fit, which was great. 
Um, and uh, any color, so any, to, any, 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 any color changes. It, it's the you color don't palette. worry about that. You don't worry about the color palette. <laughs> the color palette's going to stay the same, buddy. Yeah, okay. Just so you know, just okay. so you know. Um, so I don't have my own room yet, my own dressing room yet. They're that's what that I remember. Out. I remember um, our front desk lady was telling me that. She's like, I don't, I don't think I have a room for him. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have a parking space. I don't have a room. Yeah. I go, cause I went to the gate and they're like, wait, you don't have uh, you don't have your, your badge, your ID. I go, I don't know. It's they're so like, who are you? We don't know you years ago. So they let me in. That was nice. And then, uh, did, did security, did, uh, did the fifth floor let them know you were coming? Yes. They, they let them know. Okay. So good. yeah, it was good. So I got in and then, uh, you know, did the workout, went to the wardrobe fit, took a shower, went to the wardrobe fitting, got a little bit of a haircut. Oh yeah. I can see it. Right. So, you know, J Jason Marshall, who's a social media guy and Marianne Fleischman, who's the PR lady. She was like, Hey, let's just take a couple pictures. We were supposed to have ABC news there and all that, but the weather the was weather. so bad. Yeah. So they had to have their crews out in the field basically. So it was actually better for me. Sure. Because, because they had a lot of things lined up on my first day. Yeah. Right. So it was actually just going, okay, cool. I can just focus on the work today. Totally. Seeing people reconnecting with people. Yeah. You can uh, really, really just be present with the people and not have to be on for cameras or whatever. Sure. Like and, not to say that I you're on, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but you have to, you, it, it's definitely some compartmentalizing of going, okay, work, let's do the scene. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Here's the interview. Right. And right. then, Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. Get over here. Give me right. a look. You yeah. know? So it's, there's a lot of totally. factors, right? Totally. Yeah. So, um, it was good. Like got a haircut, got, uh, got makeup done. And then I was first up. Oh boy. <laughs> and, and, and somebody was sick in the cast. Uh, so they had to cut some scenes. Right. So I didn't have a huge break. So I just kind of, did you know that you didn't know I knew that right before we started like okay, a half so, hour before tape. Okay. But the stuff with that person wasn't first up. So you no, no, like, it was like sometimes if you bunch, were like, yeah, and okay. then there were, I had a bunch and they had a bunch and then I had a bunch Sure. and then they had a bunch. Sure. So, so but it, did it, did it, it make it hard? Like, when you sometimes when we have a lot of scenes, right? You you're like, okay, that one's later in the day, so I can soft no, load that it, one. It made it better because it was kind of all on the same track. Ah, okay, cool. Right, and yeah. and I'm trying to approach this this comeback, uh, differently. Mm. So I kind of alluded to it on my on the on the Instagram post, um, about I was able to talk to uh, the head writers Elizabeth Cordy in particular. Yeah on on this this comeback and it's just very well thought out it's a great story so cool. i'm super excited about it which yeah. helps as an actor oh for sure to go oh man this is really like when she's telling me the story i'm like dang this is good like this is good stuff <laughs> right so so i had i had we talked her and i talk uh talked about a few different you know notes on what Jason's been doing, what's the, what's the mental state, all these things. Right. Sure. So, so it's really, it's really cool and, and interesting. And, you know, the day, the day went really well. Um, and, you know, obviously connected with the crew, a lot of the cast, which was great. I mean, yeah. there wasn't a ton of people there yesterday because of yeah. the portions of the scenes that were cut. Sure. Uh, were a lot of cast members. Um, but it was nice to see, you know, Eden, Eden McCoy ran up on set. She was very sweet. Awesome. Gave me a hug, you know, uh, worked with some other people I won't say, but, um, overall, man, it was just, I ended up being done by lunch too. Hey, look at that. Like what a day, you know, especially with day. the rain. I was like, Oh, I could get home. I could pick up my daughter from school. And yeah. So, overall, yeah, I man, mean, it was just, a, it was just a great day and I got to, uh, do some fun stuff too. That's so. awesome, dude. You know, in the times that I've been there in the last couple of years, you know, there's not there's not a single day that I'm in there that I multiple people don't ask about you and have said, you know, oh, how's he doing? Sweet, Give him my best. So I can imagine, you know, it was a, a warm welcome back, you know, like the, you know, everybody on the crew. Um, and, and so, yeah. like, so I'm, I'm excited to be there at some point yeah. with you and just and just kind of. Um, reappreciate the the connection between because like we you never you know the last time we worked together there like 
every time you were on, you and I were on set together, it felt, you know, it felt, I don't want to, I don't want to presume this, but it felt fun for everyone. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Lighthearted when we're yes. like, we're, they know we're going to, they're no, they're no, they know sure. we're going to be prepared. They know we're not going to yeah. take ourselves too seriously. Yeah. They know it's going to be like, yeah. Oh, this next half hour is not going to suck. Right. Yeah. That's, sure. that's, that's what I mean. Like in terms of like 100%. And so I'm looking forward to that again is all I mean. Yeah, me too. And yesterday I was like, ah, oh, should I crack some jokes or not crack some jokes? Like, yeah, like yeah, you know, e I, I kind of want to stay into my, you know, yeah, into, into the zone. And then, you know, a few of the camera guys, one camera guy, his name's Kai cool cat. He was a, he was a camera guy at Y and R. Oh, wow. When I was there. So he was back on my first day, which was cool. Yeah. You know, and he and I spent a lot of time together during that four years. Good, really good dude. But, you know, so I'm over there talking to him about something. I'm like, oh, I got to focus. What am I doing here, dude? I right. got to get back to work, right? And totally. then, you, then there's an opportunity for a joke to be cracked, and I have to take that too. Amazing. You know, and because uh, one was about you, but I didn't really tell the whole joke, and we could tell the whole joke later. But, um, <laughs> but it's funny because, you know, there's some guys that have been there on the crew for a long time. Yeah. Like, like 40 years. Yes. Right. And they could be a little salty. They're not really salty, right. but they could be weathered. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's like, so he was like, and I won't say who it was, but it was a crew person, not a cast member. And they were like, you know, cause I came back up and he, they were like, oh, you're still here. I said, yeah, I'm just grabbing some coffee for my drive home. And, uh, I said, he goes, oh, how's it good? How's it being back? I said, it's, it's really good, man. He goes, is it? <laughs> and I said, yeah, it really is, you know? And then yeah. that was it. Like it was just a, it was a great button to end the day that yeah. way. So, yeah. And it all goes to show that any, anybody in any job, a little bit of a break could do them good. <laughs> well, dude, listen, I mean, no, that's I'm just saying from that last comment, do you know what 100%. I mean? One hundred percent. Yeah. I think that's like, that is a huge takeaway from my overall journey to this day. Yeah. Part of the journey that was super beneficial was leaving and coming back different every time. Sure. Right. Well, I had I, such yeah. a stretch of growth, personal growth during those times that it's a different person coming back every time. Sure. And, and you're right. You got to leave. Yeah, or what, however, however that dose of however you get that dose of perspective sometimes. Correct. You just got to get kind of get shocked out of your normal sometimes, and you know. Not yeah, and you do. You jobs, do in your but, personal you know, life. You do yeah. in your work life. You do. You know, and and you know, there's people there who've had you know things go on in their life who have great attitudes and great perspectives. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? But you can get stuck into a mundane. And people know this that we're yeah. talking to right now who've been at jobs for like school teachers. Right. Right. We have a lot of school teachers as fans. We yeah. know a lot of them. Yeah. Right. And it's kind of like, oh, here, another year, yeah. another year until you do something and go outside your comfort zone or whatever that is. Right. You know, um, yeah. but leaving has been the best thing for me both times. And that, yeah, <clears throat> crazy. Well, um, awesome. It's so, it's so great. I'm so excited for the things ahead. Cause I know a little bit about the story and it is so flipping cool. Um, yeah. but, it uh, is. so our team, the team, and over I love all the speculation, by the way. Oh, that's a good time. It's I mean, a great time. Why wouldn't you? Like, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Yeah. So that's the best too, because they, they've been, they've been laying some breadcrumbs yeah. right now along the way. Yeah. And I know what the, the majority of people think, and it ain't that. Ayo. So, so go ahead. Love that. Love that. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. That's what they say. That's what the kids say. <laughs> uh, we're nothing if not young and relevant. Um, <laughs> hey, um, with this with this filter, we look good, though. So go I ahead. Mean, come on, let's go. Come on. Um, so uh, it, it, our friends at Daily Drama uh, sent us over some trivia questions, because now that you are back as as Jason oh, Morgan, it, it's probably good, as, you know, as you're as an actor for your, for your, you know, for your storytelling, but also just like to, to bring you back into the world. Um, some questions about Jason's past 
Mm. Um, and so don't feel bad if you get them wrong because it's all forwarding, right? How many it's questions? The, I think six. It'll be good reminders okay. if you've forgotten. Six. That's it. That's why. That's why we pick six. I. I could be Thank wrong. You. I. I'm not a great. Great at math. Um. So if you get them right, that's great. If you get them wrong, it'll still. It'll be a good reminder going back into the character. All to say. Well, I. If anyone knows me. You know, I'm. I have a fifty-fifty chance of of answering three. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay. Question one, uh, and uh, these may get harder. Do you know these? On. Well, our friend also put the answers. So. Oh, okay. Great. Good. Lucky for you. Go ahead. Yes. Question number one: Who is Jason's biological? mother susan moore very good very good very good. question sir now, now that was a nice quick <laughs> i got that all right um i met her too in real life once at a at a party who who, who played her uh i can't remember that part. okay but the, the actress that's not that a played, question right no no the actress that played okay, susan good. moore you met at a party and you're like hey you're yeah. my mom and she's like who are you yeah. right. she said no hey you're my son i said who are you Oh, right. That's right. <laughs> that, that makes sense. All right. Uh, question number two. This is it true or false? So when you, you talk about 50%, you truly have 50% chance of getting this right. Sure. Um, Jason and Heather Weber are related. True or false? Hmm. Wow. I'm going back because I'm, I'm trying to figure out this, this recent story with Franco and everything, well, because who knows, they may have Heather. rewritten this a couple of times. That's true. <laughs> so I, my, my instinct is to say false, okay. but because of what was written, I would say true about the whole Franco and Heather Weber and the whole fiasco. So, okay. The answer is true. So bonus points. If you can explain the connection. I can't. Okay. The connection is that uh, Heather and Susan are cousins. Oh, there you go. So am I like third cousins? I don't know. How does that work? I don't know did if they were do first. That? I don't know if they were first cousins, second cousins, or kissing Come on, cousins. Dude, you're I don't from know. Kentucky. You can figure it out. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is fun for you folks out there listening, playing along. Um, uh, shouting at your car radio. Well, they're shouting. They shouted that one out because I took about a half are an hour. Shouting. Okay, question. Yeah. With whom mm -hmm. was Jason stranded on a supposedly desert island? Deserted island. Desert island. Jason Morgan or Jason Quartermain? Doesn't say. Mm. Um, this you era, the this, answer, though. this era, I would venture to say uh, Quartermain. Quartermain, yeah. So it was Brenda, Jagger, Heron. And I don't, I can't remember if AJ was there or not, but I know it was those three for sure. Okay. So the answer is Jagger and Karen Wexler. I didn't, Brenda's not mentioned and not okay. to mention, not to mention ex-con Cal. Oh, Cal. Yeah. Geez. I forgot about Cal. He was on the Island with you though. <clears throat> uh, from what I remember, I remember the character. I can't remember. I remember, I remember Antonio, Carrie, Shane. Uh, Vanessa might have been because we we did something in the woods, in the part in Los Feliz. We had a location shoot there, so I might have been just combining the both. But that set was awesome, by the way. They oh, made yeah. an incredible island set for us. Ooh. So so do I get that one right? Yeah, I'd say you. Uh, I mean, okay. Yeah. So tell me about the island set though. It was on. Was it? Well, this was down at Sunset Gower, or was it at AB? No, was no, it, it was Prospect, and they had a they had an elevated set. Right. So you'd walk up onto it. It was kind of an, it was a really cool island set. So they did wow. a really good job. Yeah. It was compared big, to, that was a big summer story. Compared to Gilligan's, was it better than Gilligan's? Way better. Okay. All right. Great. But I felt like Gilligan. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who inspired Amnesiac Jason to adopt the last name of Morgan? Who inspired it? Yeah, why, why, why Morgan? Why Morgan? Well, that was uh, that was uh, uh, Lila's maiden name. Very good. 
Uh, his paternal, yeah, buddy. Yeah, his paternal grandmother, Lila Morgan Quartermain. You're doing so good, dude. You are you are ready. You are ready to return. You you got it locked and loaded. <laughs> this is great. It's, it's too bad I've returned. It doesn't matter. All right. Um, and uh, just just to the listeners, this is this is from our 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 daily drama people. There is no motive in this question. There is no motive. What initially bonded Jason and Elizabeth? I don't think this is opinion. I think this is fact. Like what initially brought them to uh, bond? I think them. I was shot, and in a in a in a box car was somebody else shot with you and assumed dead. Maybe I can't remember, dude. Well, the answer here is the support that Jason showed Liz following Lucky's presumed death. Ooh, okay. Does that so we didn't bond track before that? I don't can't remember, bro. We've had so many stories. I don't even know. Right. Okay. Like I'd have to literally see a timeline of everything to go. Yes, but I I can't. In well, my head, I can't remember. And here's the thing. Like, he, this is just my hope. I hope that <laughs> there is time for you to play on set before there is any determination around should we f should there be a love interest here. I hope there's oh, okay. more. I hope there's more to play. Besides jumping into a love interest. That's all I'm saying. I, I have no skin in the game. I well, I want to spend time with you. And if you have a love sure. interest, can, then, and I, then you're, then you're out. Then I'm, I'm so like, you're being very selfish. I'm like looking in the window, like, Hey, yeah, so uh, we'll hang out for, we'll hang out for a little while. First. Still go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but okay. Am I married to Carly still or no? I don't even know. I, that was nullified. Was it not? I don't know. This is these things that I don't know. So that's that's obviously not a trivia question, but well, I mean, is it? At the very least, you should have an opinion about Sonny and Nina, or that. I don't know if that's over or not. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Let me get back first. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. As soon as I get back, I'll be hearing about all of the, all of these things. Totally. <laughs> okay. Now this is a this is a timed, this is a timed exercise. Timed. I'm gonna get my. Is this the last one? It is. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna timer. I'm gonna set 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, come on, man! No, what is this? That says 15 minutes. That's more likely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 15 seconds on the clock. Go for it. In 15 seconds, recall, come on, dude, as many J of Jason's love interests as possible. Oh. Go. Uh, Keisha, Brenda. Elizabeth, Courtney, Sam, Britt. Is that it? Uh, Am I missing one? Oh my gosh. I just miss? got, uh, no, sorry. Right as you did that, um, our cast director just texted me saying, we're actually not going to, they moved me to, mo to tomorrow. Now they're not going to use me tomorrow. Okay. Um, so I don't know if I said them all. I think, I think you said you said a couple ex you said a couple extras that are weren't were in this so good on you. Um okay. I don't know Candy Ducopolis. Who's Candy Candace Ducopolis? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good name know. though. Candy Ducopolis? Candy? Was that a was that a, a a lady of the evening? I don't know. Did you have relations with lady I, of the I don't know. <laughs> oh, I forgot Carly. Yeah, Elizabeth, Carly, Sam, Candy, Ducopolis, Keisha, Karen, Robin, Courtney, and as you said, Brent. oh, Robin, shoot! Oh, you didn't say Robin, did you? Dang. Yeah. yeah. No, but you did a pretty good job, dude. You did a pretty ah, good job. It was pretty good. I would say, I, I mean, Give I'm me not a sure. B. Give me I'm a B. Sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you have to recall your history with Candy to uh, to fulfill your duties as. Yeah. Uh, but Jason. I shouldn't have. I yeah, I should have. I should have remembered. But yeah. I, but I, I should say, have just gone through chronological. All right, I got a B. I th I think that's pretty good. I think you're ready, dude. Okay. Yeah, right, I'm ready to roll. Awesome. Well, Here's it's so good. it's so. I got a black T-shirt I mean, on. We're good. We're ready. Now we talked a little bit. They're keeping the sides a little bit shorter. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. I got my hair cut, and this looks is what good, it's dude. Be looks now. good. Looks good. Yeah. Um. Well, welcome back. I can't wait to see you in the building. Um, yeah, buddy. This week. Amazing. I hope I, I I'm I'm not sure I'm there. They. If, 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 I, I'm not sure if I'm in the building at the same time as you. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. 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 Most likely. 
Most likely. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm, I think you're there every day. We might not be in the same scenes together, but we'll be in the building. Probably. Yes. All sure. right, cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for listening, y'all. Let the celebration. You guys are begin. awesome. March 4th is the day. Um, March 4th. Awesome. All right. Can't wait. Be well, everybody.